Were it possible, we might look beyond the reach of our knowing and yet a bit further into the past. Then perhaps we would endure our griefs with greater trust than our joys. For they are the moments when something new has entered us, something unfamiliar. Our feelings become mute in timid shyness. Everything within us steps back. A silence ensues. And then something new, known to no one, stands in the center and is silent. I believe that nearly all our griefs are moments of tension. We perceive them as crippling because we no longer hear signs of life from our estranged emotions. We are alone with the strange thing that has stepped into our presence. For a moment, everything intimate and familiar has been taken from us. We stand in the midst of a transition where we cannot remain standing. And this is the reason the sadness passes. The something new within us, the thing that has joined us, has entered our heart, has gone into its innermost chamber and is no longer there. It is already in the blood. Surely it is possible that we shall gradually learn to recognize that what we call fate emerges from human beings. It does not enter into them from the outside. It is only because so many did not absorb their destinies while they lived in them, did not transform them into themselves, that they did not recognize what emerged from them. Therefore, it is so important to be alone and observant when one is sad. The quieter, more patient, more open we are when we are sad. Should we not encounter difficult more something new? future. Everyone loses oneself for the sake of the other, and loses the other and many others that would have yet wished to come. Those who simply surrender themselves and leave no room for aloneness, having set no boundaries between each other, and being no longer able to differentiate, they no longer possess anything of their own. How can they on their own find the escape route that they have already blocked to that inner solitude? They act from a source of mutual helplessness. If, with the best of intentions, they wish to avoid the convention that is approaching them, they find themselves in the clutches of another conventional solution, one less obvious, but just as deadly. Everything surrounding them, spread wide around them, is convention. Yes, even separation would be a conventional step, an impersonal, coincidental decision, a weak and fruitless decision. Whoever will seriously consider the question of love will find that as with the question of death, difficult as it is, there is no enlightened answer, no solution, not the hint of a path has yet been found. All good wishes
be an artist means not to compute or count. It means to ripen as the tree, which does not force its sap, but stands unshaken in the storms of spring, with no fear that summer might not follow. It will come regardless, but it comes only to those who live as though eternity stretches before them, carefree, silent, and endless. I learn it daily. I learn it with many pains.